most important thing for a driver, as I said before, is feel. And what I really want to feel is a tyre. Unless I can feel the tyre, if, if, if I can't feel the tyre, it means that there's some, something wrong with the chassis or, or with the, with the, with the, with the uh, setup of the car. And um, once we get the car good, then you get to the point where you can feel the tyre moving. And the way I like to drive is I like to be able to carry lots of speed into the corner, load the tyre up, but once the tyre loads up and takes a set, then I know, okay, it's secure now, I've got the grip, and then I can go to, to throttle. And that's, that's and it, it, you're looking for that, that feel, that, 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 that taking a set. That's really what, that's what, as a driver, is what you're feeling. As soon as it, the quicker it takes a set, the quicker you're gonna go through the corner because it's, okay, there it is, let's go. Okay, there it is, let's go. But when you're waiting for that feeling, it's like, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? All the time you have to throttle, you know, the speed's dropping down, the speed's dropping down, and then you have to accelerate further. So over the course of a lap, it could be a second lap slower. So all the time you're looking for a car that's crisp, sharp, responsive, giving good feel, and then, okay, right, I've got everything I need now, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna push it to the limit. And once you've got that, that's hopefully when you get the lap time. Ultimately, it's the driver's feeling. If you look, there's, there's the maximum cornering power that can be attained from the tires, and, and that is, uh, a pretty high level and fairly consistent, say, across our products. But the ultimate factor for getting the maximum out of the vehicle is once you've optimized that performance of the contact patch for grip, it's getting the feeling for the driver right so they have the confidence to charge into the corner deep, to put the maximum effort into cornering as quickly as possible and then allowing them to get on the throttle as hard as possible, as early as possible for the corner exit. And every driver has a different characteristic they like in that ultimate feel. So it's a challenge for us to have a package, especially for things like endurance racing with multiple drivers, to get a good balance that's a compromise between each of the drivers on their team to have a comfortable feeling in the car and extract the maximum performance throughout a session. The feel that the driver gets when they, when they turn the wheel, as the wheel starts, the tire starts planting itself into the asphalt, that's when the load starts to build. You feel it through the steering wheel and you feel it through your butt. You can feel the load start building. And that, that's a combination of you know, the quickness of the steering and the shock tuning and the spring rate and the sway bar. But all that feel has to do with how soon you transfer energy to the contact patch of the tire and make the tire spark up. And um, you know, if you, if you put it in too quick, it can make the car darty, and then you can make the tire go over the top on its temperature and then it will push. If you don't put it in enough, then the car feels non-compliant, it feels too compliant, it falls over. And, and, you, and then what happens is the driver will end up putting more input into the car and then the tire will finally make heat and it will cause oversteer the car will, 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 you know, will get snap oversteer because you've put so much slip angle into the tire that when it finally does build temperature, you have it turned so much that when it does, it oversteers and causes the car. So with the shock tuning, you can tune how soon it applies pressure to that face of the tire. So you know, when the driver does move his hands, that it responds to his hands. It's, a, it's a, such a a black art, you know, you, you can, the difference between a good setup and a bad setup can be one small change here, one small change there, and you know, it's, it, there's, there's a fair amount of luck in it, and usually it's a pretty good educated guess, but it's, it's, if racing was easy, you know, then we'd all be doing it, so.